Hey there, can I take some of your time? I have something that is troubling me, something I think you will find interesting and that I want your opinion on. On one hand, the story of Street Fighter 6 is not the best fighting game story ever, but not the worst either, you know? I know, I know, what a twist. Street Fighter 6 story is not Uncharted level in the storytelling department, who would have guessed. But I still think it has something most fighting game story lack. When on the other hand, Mortal Kombat has a great story. So just going by this fact, I should think MK has the better story. I mean it has, but I mean I should also think it has the better story mode. By the way, it's what I will mean when I say story from this point on, so no confusion I hope. Story equals story mode, not just storytelling. From now on, when I talk about storytelling, I will directly say storytelling. So then, now that we know this, why do I think Street Fighter has a better story for its game than MK has? Or at least that it's not so black and white which is better that they both have equal value if not more in the case of Street Fighter. Why is my gamer brain like this? I mean I have a reason. It may not make sense for you now but listen and it will make sense. Trust me, I will explain and you will understand why MK story need to change and learn from Street Fighter. And hopefully this video will help me get a grip on my nits feeling about all of this. Who knows? I hope it does. Ok let's begin. Mortal Kombat games have very cinematic story ever since MK9, the acting in those stories can be on par with the best of the time they release in. Characters like Scorpion have well developed story arc throughout the multiple game. In short, Mortal Kombat have the best storytelling you can find in a fighting game hand down. But MK still make bad fighting game story, or at least let's say that there should be more to it than good storytelling to be good. Because making a good story, even if it's really good, is not enough. I mean good storytelling is not enough. Think about it, a great story, storytelling wise may nothing for a fighting game. Yes, a lot of casual will buy the game for it, but even if they do, what is keeping them to play the game afterward? What is stopping more people from just watching the story online, or just losing interest in the game after spoiling themselves saying on YouTube? I have a friend that does that, it's weird I think, but what can you do? It's not your fault if the story of a game doesn't incentivize advise you to play the game that like the story is from. It's a problem, you gotta admit. Look, I love the world of Mortal Kombat, I really do, and I am not a casual, so for me it's a fun story that come with a game that I would buy anyway. For me, it's good the way it is. But even if a casual were to love it, someone who never played fighting game, would he really play the game afterward and buy the DLC? For some yes, but for the many no. Liking the story doesn't mean you will like the game. They are in no way the same, like a movie within a game. So can it really be a good fighting game story then? No. I mean, I already like MK, so for me it's like an add-on to that. But it's not gonna make you like MK, because the gameplay and story doesn't interact with each other. People playing the story for the most part are hyped for the next cut saying not the next fight where you play. So the storytelling, even if it is good, even if it was perfect, is not a good story for a fighting game. Because in the end, even I don't really care for the random fight and play the story more for the cut saying. Like imagine if when playing a boss battle in a Dark Soul game, you would instead of wanting to fight that boss, instead of wanting to test yourself against even stronger foe, you would just want the fight to be over quick to see the next cutscene. Imagine if you would also think the same with the latest God of War. The game would be doing something wrong and it would be a bad story mode and this is what MK is doing. And even if I would take one good MK story over 20 Street Fighter 6 story, it won't change this fact. MK doesn't make story that make you want to play. And even if a casual would want to, when they go online and lose 2 or 3 times most people will go back to playing FIFA or Call of Duty. When they see the move list, many will just quit. For all MK is doing good, it's best selling point for the casual, sell them on a lot, 
but wanting to make more people get good at the game. Damn casual, am I right? I am kidding by the way. Call of Duty is actually fun once in a while, it's fun when you play it, and you can be good at other stuff than MK. I mean you can, but are you really a gamer then? I don't think so. Also maybe you got into MK because of the story, I am not saying it cannot happen, just that it's not because MK tried at all to make you enjoy playing when you were doing the story. They were like okay now you play as Scorpion, have fun, even though you probably never played with him before, and that's just not enough, it shouldn't be enough. On the other hand, the reason I think Street Fighter 6 is better as a fighting game story is not due to its storytelling quality, it doesn't hold a candle to MK, but because it's designed to make you like Street Fighter, like playing the story of any normal game is supposed to. As it may sound crazy, but listen to this, Street Fighter actually teach you how to play in its story, or at least it tries, something MK doesn't do. In Street Fighter 6 you have enemy type design around teaching you basically how to play better and adapt to different playstyles. Plus, let's be real, dealing with zoning and grabber or even how to punish someone is something you need to learn to be able to enjoy a fighting game fully and cannot just do in training mode, at least not easily. I mean, even a lot of the side mission in Street Fighter 6 are also about teaching you how to play, like how to use the drive gauge in a fight. And you also have bonus mission teaching you stuff like how to do special move and put. In fact, the truly special thing about this story is that every choice in Street Fighter 6 is designed to get you into fighting game. You create your character because 1. It bring a lot of people in, especially casual who like character creation, but 2. Because it get you to play the story in the first place, instead of not touching it. Like I get to make my Heisenberg in Street Fighter? If I bought the game as a casual it would have been for this feature alone. It's a win-win situation. And now that you are in, that you are playing their game, Capcom didn't stop here. This story mod is a trap, a trick to try to make you like Street Fighter. I mean look, even the leveling system in Street Fighter 6 is a great example of a trick to get you into the game. You level up because leveling up is group tested proven to give player a sense of getting better at the game without having to get better and a sense of always striving for something. I mean just that it's a great way to keep people playing. Plus while you grind you play, and while you play and do the side mission teaching you the game, you get that speed to level up, and while the game is giving you its speed you feel better, but you do get better because of the mission you played and the enemy you fight that taught you enemy type. It's a trick, but a trick where you get what you paid for in the end. Ok so, there's something I need to make clear. Street Fighter 6 is not perfect, the storytelling is kinda bad honestly, the classic Street Fighter fighter character or more or less cameo, it's too long, it's grindy, at least for my taste, but even if you quit 2 hour in, Capcom at least tried for 2 hour to get you into fighting game, and this deserves praise, and if Capcom did it, why not Mortal Kombat, you know, the fighting game that is supposed to have the good story. Plus think about it Mark, the game is designed specifically so outside of the two first basic special move of a certain character, you must grind or play a certain style a lot to get more move from that style. It's grindy on purpose, and I hate it, but it makes you want to grind the style you have the most fun with. So if you like a style and want to get your level 3, you will play a lot with that style, meaning you will learn the style one special move at the time and get better with it. And even if you could say that this could encourage you a little too much to play with Luke's style, the role playing element of having your custom character will still still push you to at least try the other style, and so will the interaction you will have with the other character, or even just how cool the move will look like, I mean Hadouken is cool as fuck. Also I don't mean MK need level up, it doesn't, it just need to find its own way to get people into the amazing game that is Mortal Kombat, like that shouldn't be up to discussion. So now, can we really say it's a good story? 
that MK has a good story after listening to me like talk all over the place for a while. Can you still say it? If the game is not trying to make you like the gameplay or even trying to get you to have fun with it. Just look at this, I am not even trying there. Can you really tell me someone who beat the game like this will love the game or will take the time to learn to love it? That this person has any idea what even mid-level play would be like? No, and it's not bad in itself to play at a casual level, I did for years. But the story of MK game are not trying to get you to get better and maybe it's just me, but it should try. If Street Fighter is trying, why not MK2? Why after beating your MK story, the only thing you learn is that down medium is the uppercut and that it hurt and make you win. And let's be real, it's not just MK that has a problem with this, Taken also has one, so does Dead or Alive, and their storytelling is not even on par with MK. Can I even get into Taken by playing the story mod? If it's not as engaging on the storytelling level, and not even try to teach me what the fuck is going on, look at this move list dammit. I just like fighting games, so I would want the best of both worlds you know. I hope MK learn, because I know they can. Imagine MK storytelling with a gameplay teaching you how to play or even testing you on different gameplay mechanics. Like imagine if the gameplay of the story mode was put forefront. That would be perfection. I don't know what to add to this, so Blue come here. Without context to the video, say something. What you see this video was a metaphor to our inner conflict with the society around us and it's something that I think we can all look upon and see ourselves become better. Okay, that was something. Now, what do you think? Yes, you the viewer that probably have subscribed to the video and is recommending the video to all your friends right now. What do you think? I would like you to tell me if you want to at least. So don't forget to like the video, turn on the notification bell and to subscribe if you like the video and want more video like those. Thanks for watching. Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on I can't keep track of them all from people dropping what the fuck is going on? Where am I? Who are you people? Stay, stay away from me.